Do you want to know how I was able to create all of these pictures in a relatively consistent style? It's a bit of a process, but let me walk you through. It starts by identifying a style you want. And for me, as long as Mid Journey has been released, I've been searching for one specific look. Let me take you back to my childhood for a second. Digimon the movie. I could not get enough of this art style. I wish every anime would look like this. Now it's just a personal preference, but how do we go about conjuring that in Mid Journey? Well, we're gonna use one of the new features and an old feature to make my dream come true, sort of. First, I gathered some screenshots from that movie to use as reference images. I saved them onto my computer. Then over in Discord, I hit this little plus button down here by the prompt box, upload a file. I select all the reference images and I'm gonna hit enter. Discord is gonna place them all here in a grid, making them easy to access. Now this is where we're going to use Mid Journey's newest feature, slash tune. We're going to be able to tune a prompt just how we like it. You're going to hit slash tune and now you can click on these images and hit copy image address and then paste them into the prompts. But the easy way to do it is just to drag and drop. Make sure you hit the space bar. So there's a space between your first link and your second link. Same thing for the third. But keep in mind, you can't tune a style with only image links. It needs some words as well. And this is where I'd recommend including some sort of keywords. Nothing too specific, but nothing too different from what you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to go with anime aesthetic. When you hit enter, it will create a tuning test for you. I recommend just using 16 style directions. I really don't think you need any more than that. And you can leave it on default mode for now. Once your test is created, I'll leave this link in the description by the way, you can go through the different options and select for a style that you're looking for. Once you think you've chosen a style that you like, you're gonna copy the entire prompt into Discord. That's including the image links. And it'll look something like this. With the style code, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is run that exact same prompt, image links and all, in a few different stylized values. Maybe one or two higher than 100 and at least one lower than 100. Here it is at S400 and I'm not sure this is exactly what I wanted, but here it is at S40. And number two is basically the look I was going for. And if you've noticed, the problem we're having so far is what shows up in the prompt. In this case, it's basically an average of all of our image prompts. You know, I don't want these specific characters. So what can we do about that? Well, first we're gonna go into our settings, hit forward slash settings into the prompt box. And there are two things you need to check off. Make sure remix mode is turned on and make sure high variation mode is turned on. That's the most important thing. Now we're gonna going to go back up to the picture we like. In this case, it's number two. We're going to hit the variation button below it. This is going to bring up the remix box. Now this is where you're going to delete a few different things. First, delete all of the image prompts. Get rid of those. Also, delete the style code. That's pretty important. I know it might seem counterintuitive, but we tune the style to look this way. And when we remix the picture, we don't want that style code affecting the remix. That's why it's important. You can leave the lower stylized value and I suggest you do. This will make sure Mid Journey follows your prompt more closely. And at the end of the day, in terms of consistent style, that's what we're looking for. Now at the front is where you get to input your new subject. We'll go with Wonder Woman to keep things simple, Anime Aesthetic S40, and this is going to be a remix of the image number two. You'll hit submit and you'll get something like these. Now keep in mind, not all four of them are ever going to be exactly what you want. Our hope is just to get one of them. To be honest, I like all of these, but maybe number two is the most similar to what I had in mind. Now from here, what can you do? Well, you can go back to that original picture we remixed and run this process again with different characters, or you can continue the remix from here. In this case, number two as well. And this is where we can input any other characters or any other scenes that we want. And you'll get something like these. Look at number one, look at number three. That is so gorgeous. I know looking back at the Digimon reference, maybe it's not identical, but this is harnessing that emotion and that feel that I wanted. From that same Wonder Woman remix, I got these for the Hulk. Number two is incredible, incredible Hulk. And then this Iron Man generation is a great example of winning the lottery. Three of them, not really what I had in mind, but number four, that is what I wanted. That look, that Tony Stark, that's the proof of consistent style. You can include some more descriptive words, 
like full body, wide angle lens, action pose, and maybe you'll find something like number three. Perfect, again, in my opinion. Same description here with the Hulk. Number two and number three is exactly what I wanted. Also, you may want to exclude the word lens from your generation. That might bring in a vibe that you're not looking for, specifically in terms of anime, like these. Oh my god, number three is so gorgeous. And I think this works really well for just everyday scenes, like a greenhouse garden. That looks Looks like a scene from the Digimon movie and honestly I can't express how happy I am to get pictures that look like this. Especially when you consider that including anime aesthetic in your prompt might get you a whole bunch of different looks that don't come anywhere close to this. I want to stress that S40 is important and really it's all possible through remixing the image that we already like. Sports car came through great. Love number one, that's just incredible. A random professor's name, Professor Collingsworth. Sure, I like the look. I like the vibe. Alfred the butler, not bad. Number three is pretty much what we wanted. Police captain, it's great. I thought Martian Manhunter came through really well. Number one, looks like a still frame from the movie. Maybe it's just nostalgia in my eyes and it doesn't actually, but I think you get my point. So let me recap quickly. You're going to tune a style with image prompts. You're going to make some selections and choose a style. You're going to generate that entire style, including the image prompts. You're gonna make sure Remix is turned on, then you're going to hit the variation button on the image that most closely resembles the style you wanted. Then you're going to delete the image prompts, you're going to delete the style code, and you're probably going to want to use a lower stylized value if you haven't used it already. Then you can include any subject you want. After that's completed, you can go back and remix that original picture again, or you can continue with your new subject and keep remixing from there. And that should keep all of your generations within a very slim margin of the same look. I hope that helps you out, and if you're confused about tuning and maybe the workflow you should be using, make sure to check out this video here. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.